As COVID-19 arrived to the borderland, many of those who were not U.S. citizens or U.S. residents weren't able to cross, affecting many as the Dynamo Football Club, making some of the players on the team unable to finish their season. Our players are missing. Also, some of our players that are coming from out of town can't come um, to the games because of some restrictions. So I guess COVID has, has changed the, the, the ways on this play now. Another challenge the team encountered was that some of the players were scared to go into the games because they didn't want to risk themselves or their own families. In the first few weeks, I was a bit scared, you know. I mean, I didn't mind getting sick, you know, most people get sick and stuff, but um, I was just thinking of not getting my parents sick just because I wanted to come to a soccer game. As the team stopped playing, players did feel emotionally affected during the pandemic. It was a, it was a while, it was a few months without playing, so I was a little bit out of shape, a little bit out of the rhythm of the game. So coming back and, and playing again, it, it took some games to adjust again and, and be able to get back to, to the normal. And I think that, that happened to a lot of, a lot of us. A lot of the players um, that we were out for a few months without doing anything and it was a little bit hard to come back. As the team went back to the field, they still have precautions and are aware that the pandemic is still not over. I still do think about it, you know, I try to take as many precautions that I can. Uh, I do think about it when I'm out on the field, you know, clashing against other players, you know, thinking that they might have the COVID. But uh, at the same time, you know, we got to move on. We got to start, you know, living life. I can't stop my whole life just just because of this. Although COVID came with many challenges for the Dynamo soccer team, playing day and night, missing some of the players that weren't able to play because of restrictions, they were able to finish the season winning the Dragon Cup. Reporting for BorderScene.com, Stephanie Chavez.